My dear students, welcome to week four of our Individuals and Societies course for grade eight. Um, this uh, week is going to extend from um, the 28th of January till the 1st of February. We're going to start our week with our formative exam. You're going to create a presentation to raise awareness about inequality in different countries. Our word wall is going to include create, presentation, women rights, equality, abuse, sustainable development goals, UN, and gender. You're going to watch a video about gender equality uh, in the uh, sustainable development goals. And you're going, going to create a presentation to raise awareness about inequality in different countries. Going to watch another video about inequality. And then you will have an interactive activity related to that. Of course, you will have further practice. And for the challenging question, I would like you to find uh, five institutions in Jordan that are specialized in gender equality. Of course, there will be a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to start designing your PowerPoint presentation. Now, let's go to uh, lesson two. Lesson two, you will have the formative presentation. You're going to present a PowerPoint presentation to raise awareness about inequality in different countries. You're going to exchange thoughts messages and information effectively through interaction. Presentation, communication, purpose, and citing is going to be in our word wall. You're going to watch a video about nailing your presentation. You will have, um, um, I have uh, given you slides go to help you design your PowerPoint presentation and find the suitable templates to do your presentation. You will have a video about three body language tips for presentations. Uh, you will have an interactive activity, further practice, and for the challenging question, how can you engage your audience in your presentation? Write four, four point, points. You will have a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to answer the following question on your notebook. Should governments try to control the size of their population? Write a paragraph in response to this question and support your answer with examples. For lesson three, what process contribute to population change? Um, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to recognize the variety of processes that contribute towards population change. The word wall is going to include birth rate, death rate, aging population, process change, death rate, uh, epidemics, famine, uh, famine and drought. You'll watch a video about the variety of processes that contribute towards population change. And you will have an interactive activity about uh, birth rate and death. You'll watch another video about population growth rate based on birth and death rates. And you will have an interactive activity related to that. A further practice. And for the challenging question, I have uh, given you a worksheet uh, that you can answer the questions on. For, you will have a self-assessment for sure, and for everything, for what to, to do next, you are going to revise everything you took to do, through an activity by pressing on the picture next. I can't wait to start this week with you guys. All the love and respect.